You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Hillbilly Days is a time of year to go out, enjoy the weather, and eat some delicious festival food. However, the Pike County Health Department wants to remind everyone planning on attending of the potential health risks. Public Health Director Tammy Riley shares more details. So there are weather issues like temperature, and of course we know Thursday is supposed to be a very hot day, so you want to ensure that you stay hydrated and that you have the appropriate uh, layers of clothing on and sunscreen that you protect your skin. Everything's good in moderation. So just moderate, you know, the amounts of fried food that maybe you're eating. I don't want to upset your stomach while you're out trying to have fun. The children are getting on carnival rides. So, you know, just fried food and, and other, uh, you know, high sugar content drinks and food in moderation and enjoy. Each food vendor is checked daily thanks to the work of the environmental department. This is to ensure the safety of those consuming their products. Our environmental department will be very actively involved in uh, safety throughout the festival. Uh, they do a phenomenal job, have worked with the vendors for many years. Uh, many of the vendors are, are repeat uh, vendors that come back year after year, and we've developed a relationship with those vendors. Uh, but our environmental department goes above and beyond what's required by law. They visit every food vendor every day. So they uh, have those relationships to ensure the safety of Pike County and the region and everyone who visits the festival that they can ensure that you know, if they do want to try that treat and, and have some food like we all do, that they can feel you know, sure that the food will be safe to eat. Just be prepared for all types of weather and you know, take water if you feel like you're gonna need uh, additional water. And you know, for those that have disabilities or um, you know, that are high risk uh, or elderly that want to go into maybe a congested area, we still would recommend, you know, taking precautions for congested areas. Try to avoid them or wear a mask if you feel like that you're at high risk. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.